Imagine this, you've written a blog post, SEO optimize it, and you feel good about it. So you hit publish and then you wait for it to rank, but it never really reaches that first page. And you have no idea why, because it's a good article. Now, what if I told you that there is an SEO tool that can analyze your blog post on 13 data points and tell you exactly what you're missing? The tool is text focus. I have to be honest, when I first saw text focus, I was very close to skipping it because from the outside, it didn't look like it had a lot of functionality. But once I dove into it, my mind completely changed. I mistakenly compared it to phrase and surfer SEO. And while it is a content optimization tool, it doesn't do the same as phrase and market news and even surfer SEO. It is quite different in the way it analyzes your content. Text focus is divided into two main areas. You have your keyword area where you do your keyword research, and then you have the content analysis, which is this in-depth analysis of your content. Overall, I'm not a big fan of the user experience, but I am a fan of the data that we get out of it. But let's start with the keyword research within text focus. So the way it works is super simple like any other keyword research tool. You enter your seed keyword or a keyword from one of your content silos, and then you get related keywords in return. And for each keyword, you get stuff like competitive data, you get the search volume, you get CBC and much more. So you have those data points. The thing I'm missing is more long tail keywords because I tried with the keyword WordPress and I got very high level keywords, which are impossible for me to pursue because the competition on these keywords are just way too high. I need to find more long tail keywords and the overall keyword research tool is not for this, but they do have a tool to find long tail keywords. But one thing I do like with the keyword research module is that they help with building a type of topical map. So they show this proposed architecture where you can see the URLs they suggest that you should use, but they also show you themes and these two modules combined together helps you build a topical map. And a topical map is the way to get topical authority. So this is definitely an interesting part of the keyword research tool. They do also have some singular modules I'll not dive much into, but that's if you want to research a specific keyword and you only want to see that keyword, you can find questions based on your keyword and then you can find related keywords based on your keyword. But this is a little bit the same as running a keyword research tool. So I think the value of these individual tools doesn't make so much sense as I can get the same options and the same data from the keyword research tool. So I haven't been using those as much as the keyword research tool. But as mentioned, they do have a keyword research module that you can use to find long tail keywords. And this is the alphabetical order module. So the way it works is that it uses Google order suggest to find keywords. So you enter your seed keyword or again, a keyword from your content silo, and then automatically from Google order suggest, it will find a bunch of keywords. So naturally, again, I tested with the word WordPress and I got 197 keywords back, which is a decent start. But I tried to compare this to Low Fruits, which is a similar keyword research tool that also uses Google Auto Suggest. And here I got 2,670 keywords. So you can see that's a lot more. So while it's an interesting module that Text Focus is adding, they need to add more data and they need to return more keywords especially when we compare to the alternatives out there. But now let's dive into the exciting part of text focus, the content research or the content analysis. This is super simple to use. You just enter the URL and your primary keyword for that URL. And then you let text focus analyze your blog post or your landing page for that matter. If you're trying to rank your landing page for a keyword. And now text focus is trying to run your page on multiple parameters to check it for everything, whether it's over optimized, how's the competition, your word count and an SEO analysis. And the first thing is a semantic analysis. And here it's so easy to see whether you have over optimized your article by using expressions too much, or you have under optimized your article by not using expressions enough. And all of these data points are compared to the competition. So it really makes sense to run this data and this analysis on all of your high earning blog posts to ensure that they're fully optimized and not over optimized. And each of these expressions are sorted by the most important and the most important is the one that is used the most. But you do also get an SEO analysis and in here it is a very basic analysis. It is checking whether you're using a heading one, 
Are your images optimized? Is your tags that you're using in your header used correctly and so on. So this SEO analysis is more a thing you need to fix once and then it's fixed for all your blog posts. They do also show you a page map and this is basically like a table of content where you can see whether you've used your headings correct because of course you want to use them in the right order. And it's super easy to spot mistakes here to see whether you use the right order or not. And then you get something called a lexical analysis. This is super interesting because here it is showing you how Google is basically reading your blog post. So here you want to ensure that your keywords are present and they are present a lot of times. Of course, don't over optimize it compared to the competition, but you want to ensure that you're using the right keywords and that they show up in the lexical analysis. They also have a super cool table where it shows you highly relevant keywords and how your blog post is optimized for a keyword. Because even though we are writing the article for one primary keyword, it is still going to rank for hundreds, maybe thousands of other keywords. And here you can see how well it's optimized for those keywords. And you get such an easy overview in the table where you can see whether you have used it in a heading, have you used it in an alt tag, have you used it highlighted and so on. It's so easy to get an overview. And then you get some more basic information about outbound links, your images if you're using them correctly. And Text Focus even runs a Google PageSpeed report on the page that you're analyzing to see whether you have any issues that needs to be fixed. This is a minor thing, but still makes sense for the overall analysis. And this shows how much in-depth Text Focus go when you analyze a page. And lastly, then you get a thorough competitor analysis on your keyword, your primary keyword. And here you can compare yourself to the competition on four data points. And this is everything from word count to a specific SEO score. I hope they will add more data points to this, such as domain rating and even inbound links to the article, because the more data points we have, the easier it is for us to compare ourselves to the competition to see what we need to improve in order to rank higher, of course. So with text focus, you get so much data and insights into how you've written your content. And this makes it so easy to compare to the competition. I'm really a big fan of it. And even though it has a slight learning curve, just be patient with it. You will get a lot of data and you will feel overwhelmed in the beginning, but this makes so much sense once you start using it and you continue to use it. It's really a useful analysis and it's not often I see these data points in these SEO tools because often it's word count and it's specific expressions we need to use, but here we just get so much more value. But that's how you compare yourself to your competition in order to rank higher. You compare yourself on the word count, you compare yourself on the domain rating, you see what type of links do they have compared to you, and of course the content itself. Are you using the right expressions? Are you using alt text for your images and so on? By comparing yourself to your competition, that's how you figure out how you can rank higher. And with text focus, you can start for as low as 10 euros per month where you get 50 credits and you get full access to the most important modules. So it's definitely worth running your content through at least once to see what you can improve and then take those learnings with you as you write new content. And as a little bonus, then I know they're working on a text editor where you can take your entire analysis, write your content and get real time feedback based on the analysis. It'll be super interesting to test this. But if you're a content creator and you're looking to rank your content higher, then take a look at text focus because you get so many data points on what you need to do to rank higher than your competition on your primary keywords. And when you rank higher on your primary keywords, often the secondary keywords will follow as well. But I want to give text focus three and a half stars. While the content research is super in depth, then the keyword research was missing a lot. And I still sometimes found some French words that wasn't translated into English. And that is ruining the user experience a little bit, but it's easy to fix. But if you want to see the keyword research tool I'm using, which is also using Google auto suggest to find hundreds, sometimes thousands of keywords, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.